Hello, I'm Tom Nickel, the lead technical marketing engineer at Winova. Today, I'm going to show you how easily an IT administrator can remotely fix a broken application on an end user's machine quickly, easily, and without disrupting that user. Right now, I'm Bill, your typical end user. I've got to type up a document for my manager and adjust a sales spreadsheet for a meeting coming up later today. But much to my horror, Word and Excel are not working. Office is completely broken. I need to get these files prepared ASAP, so I quickly call the help desk to see if they can assist me. Let's switch gears a little. I'm now Ted, your typical IT administrator, and I'm on the phone with my end user, Bill, who is in a bit of a panic. We're both in luck. I have Winova Mirage deployed, so Bill's problem can easily be solved. With just a few clicks on my end, I'll be in a base image in force on his machine. This will restore his office applications to their original working state, but without disrupting the applications he's installed, the files he's created, or the personalizations he's made. Back to Bill, our end user. You can see that another great thing about using Winova Mirage is that I can still work on other tasks while this is taking place. As you can see, I've got full control of my endpoint while Office is being fixed in the background. Let's skip ahead to the end of the base image enforcement process. Once the process completes, we'll be prompted to reboot. And when we do that, Windows will restart and enter the pivot phase. This is where Windows applies the base image that it just received. Once it's done, my endpoint will boot up normally for me to log in. Before we go back to this client, I want to show you that this isn't all smoke and mirrors. Let's briefly revisit the Mirage system and view the transaction log. This gives us data about the actual transaction, including the duration, data transferred, and transfer savings, which is a result of Mirage's deduplication logic. We can see that the data transmission part took less than a minute, and that only 3% of this base image actually needed to be sent to the endpoint. The processing on the endpoint took about 9 minutes, so this entire transaction only took about 10 minutes to complete. Let's go back to our client. We're logged back in, and we can see that Mirage is notifying us that the base image enforcement completed. And if we open up the Mirage client, we can see that the status is now idle. We're ready for the moment of truth. Let's give Word and Excel another try. I'll try to open my Word document, and now it's working just fine. So let's try and open Excel. Perfect, Excel's working again too. As you can see, both my applications are working again, and after just a few clicks from my IT administrator, I'll definitely be prepared for my meeting later today. This concludes our video where we've shown how you can fix PCs without troubleshooting, maximize your end user productivity, and restore functionality while retaining end user personalization.